it's Eric again and uh, let's see how we can now output to VMix whether using the API or the NDI so let's just quickly start it right now I have a lot bunch of things here I need to get rid of certain things so I get rid of this ones uh, oh by the way let me just clear it I just want to fresh start to uh, I can select all these ones, uh, the music, whatever. Yeah, okay, so I've got these files basically here. The good thing is, uh, it's always good to start with a cut, a transition. It just gives it one second breath, breathing space at the beginning so that you make sure that everything works all right. And it's always good to add one cut at the beginning and one cut at the end. It's really good to do this. Tidy this up and makes you know your beginning and your end. So what you're gonna do if you fire up VMix, uh, first thing you're gonna do is to go to settings and then you wanna go to web controller and you wanna copy this address. This which we need. Uh, you copy this and you put it in the address bar and you can connect to VMix. But this should work fine if the vmix is on the same machine that you run in vtask and in my case it's on the same machine so i don't need to change it this will work all right so i can just connect to it so now you can see that we are connected to vmix so we can start sending stuff to vmix so now what all we need to do is to just hit on start and then retire and that's going to start playing in it and you can see that we start getting something in v uh, makes sense it's automatically starting API because de by default it's set to API and that's what we're doing so it's going through API and now it's playing the music as you can see this is what it's playing in now let me stop it for the meantime I want to trim the music because it's a bit long so I want to trim it down way 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 down to like seven seconds all right so let's see if it does that and by the way whilst you've started it and it's running you don't always need to retime you can always go into wherever you want to start playing in and you can double click double click and it's gonna play that you see so it starts from there it's gonna skip everything else and then play that one so you can see you can come back here double click it's gonna double click it's gonna highlight everything and start playing from there as well so that's a very quick way of uh, doing what playing in it and if you look into the vmist whenever it finishes playing in it makes sure it removes the last played one and then it doesn't it just does for you so that's it so if any time it leaves some file when it's playing that file again it's gonna remove it after it finishes playing that file so after playing the road it, it will move every file that has the same name so no matter how many of them are in the project it's going to remove all of them so let's see when this one finishes playing let's see what happens it's going to remove this to you you know we've got two rows of that it's going to remove all of them and that should do just fine so that's it so that's how you use the API and now we move on to NDI so you switch to NDI mode and you start it and you retime it it's gonna play but you need to come to vmix and go to add inputs go to um ndi and you want to look for the name vitas output one so you want to look at the name here vitas output one so that's what you need to bring in and this is it vitas output one you got it right there and you can see that it's playing in perfectly so that's the way to do the NDI so you can double click here and then you can see that NDI is actually playing in the way it's supposed to be so that's how to connect to vmix and start playing so you can always switch to API or NDI whenever you want so I'll see you in the next tutorial thank you